Welcome to Snoop Love Bricks. Hope everyone's doing okay. Right, I had a friend of mine message me and said, would you like free tickets to come with me to the Southampton Brick Festival? And I thought, right, I haven't been to one. So let's go and see what all the hype and the fuss is about. Because I see a lot of bloggers out there doing these videos and saying they love it, love it, love it. So, uh, and as an event organiser myself, I'd like to see what the competitors is doing and what's out there. So it would have been £7 for adults, £5 for children after 11 or £14 double for before uh, 11 o'clock early access um, and that would be for adults and children i was so disappointed in this so this video hopefully isn't going to be more dogging out but i'm going to do negatives before the positive why i did not like this event and what i found was wrong right let's get to it so nothing wrong with the parking and everything it's nothing you can't do nothing about that but the parking was horrendous i had to park down a street down the road because the car park was jammed this was the best time when i was on um going through but it, it was on the whole on the main road as well my weight turned up he was a 15 minutes trying to find a parking space before he gave up and parked down the street like i did right so we're there looking around where the entrance was very nice place they picked by the way very nice venue very clean very posh very modern we saw these guys walking out with lego bags and asked them where to go to the entrance so we followed these people going then once we went into foyer there was this little a4 piece of paper and that was it so i didn't know where i was going so i found this lady in an orange bag because that was the only signage outside or inside to tell me that there was a lego event going on so we get into the front room, the sort of reception room, which is an out as well as an in, as you can see. So you have to, it was, especially when it gets busier, it's hard to get in, look at that. Uh, and then when you get in, where do you go? There was no desk straight away to boot you. It's only on the right hand side, but it, look at that. So I could walk probably straight in. There's people running around. I don't know what I was doing. So I got my hand stamped, walked in. Right, very busy. Lots of room to move around, which is good. That's positive, but the atmosphere was very flat. There was no kids going, oh, look at this, mum, look at that. You had these when you came in, which I thought was quite poor. You know, this is Lego. It's about celebration Lego. Have some effort. You got these these display cases, which I use a lot to fill up spaces and have interacted with the kids, but they were just plonked on the table, not even the tablecloths done nicely, and it was too big a table for the displays. So we were looking around. There's a massive area in the middle with nothing going on. There was, it said RC zone, so I looked at the RC zone. Oh my God, that was it. Two cars, no one around, and it was just so poor. Uh, we had this big banner stuck in the middle of nowhere. I don't know what that was about. It was just blocking a lot of the space. And then you had lovely displays like this on a massive table. So it made the display look small. So that was, first of all, I noticed. This was just walking around. So I thought, let's go to the shops first um, because I couldn't see the displays at the time because it went displays next to shops the so people queuing to go to the shops and you can't see the space so that's one major fault if you want to look at the displays don't go in the morning go later on because people are trying to queue for the shops you want to go and see the displays right this was one of the organizers shops so while i'm filming this one look at the prices so feel free to pause from the beginning of this shop uh, uh, section the prices were disgusting i showed it to a friend when i got back and said good job i didn't turn up i've been chucked out this was horrendous beyond belief. Uh, I think this is the one the organisers always goes round and all that. These are not 5% more than you should get on eBay. These are hundreds of pound more. Look at this, it's done Rex. It was 200, maybe 300 pound more than you would get sold prices on complete prices on eBay. So this is ridiculous. That friend set, I don't know if you can see, was 200 pound more than Ian Bricks were selling on that day. It was ridiculous. So. My biggest bugbear was the amount, there was 50% of the sellers there was just buying Lego and trying to gouge people for as many much money as they can. Look at this guy here, I'm not going to try and be bad for him, but this set here is coming out in, in three days time, 26, and he was charging £10. He'd be paying £3.50 in, in three days time. He's charging £7 for the ones he scanned and wasn't so good and £50 for the rest. It was ridiculous. Um, Lord of the Rings, £500 more than the completed price. I went back and checked. All of these are hundreds, 300, 200, 500, 400 pounds more than complete buy, um, sale prices on eBay. And then if you went on Bricklink, you'll see it as well. So feel free to pause these. I'm not trying to get out for this guy, but this shouldn't happen. This should not be allowed at any event. Whether it's selling cars, whether it's selling Lego, whether it's selling furniture this is ridiculous but then you had some people like this 
was selling £15 for that orange spaceman, which was a very, very good price. You have people like Ian Bricks, there we go, Here's his, there's his table. He didn't like me showing it, it's half empty, so it was full up. But it shows you how good his prices were. There it is, full up. How good his prices were for people to be selling out. There was 50% of the sellers was selling out and, and having very empty spaces. There was another one there, and it was a guy called Kevin. Very helpful, very knowledgeable. But then you had the other 50% that was there just to gouge and bought a set from Argos the day before and then put 50 quid on top of it. Yeah, it I don't know how they can do that. Right, the good part of this was the displayers. They were very, very helpful, knowledgeable, appreciative. This is from Bendy Rogers. Um, I've worked with him before, very nice builder, very nice guy, chats from anyone, very good with knowledge. And so many of the displayers were so helpful. I even bumped into a couple of guys that were showing me where I can get the the key ring for the um, May, um, May the 4th and you know and he was saying you can get it out from Argos tomorrow and it was just, just talking and chatting so that bit I loved if it wasn't for the displays this would be one full thing would be a indoor car boot sale for Lego almost it was Lego fair people it was just just going around and just buying Lego but if it wasn't for the displays I would be giving this a 1 or 2 out of 10 this is a 4 5 out of 10 event for me uh, but just because of the displayers and certain sellers like Ian Bricks and um, Kevin and all that that I bumped into the other I don't know him or you know Kevin all that I just a guy I met and he started trying to me and I could see how much passion he had in his stock and selling and he was given discounts and stuff like that lovely build here by the way um, but the displayers were pleasant they were knowledgeable they were happy to help out um, and just chat to you um, going now on a negative I spoke to a couple of people there that hadn't been paid. They wasn't getting any vouchers and nothing. I spoke to some that had been given vouchers, some that hadn't. So the ones that hadn't been given vouchers had drove all the way from miles away and were just playing. And they're saying they hadn't done a full table and they wasn't getting nothing. Um, quite a few people saying that, which is disgusting. And why am I touching on this? Right, this vent here, the whole lot, is one I'm spinning around here and showing you. Very busy and it's quite a big space. Right, over here where I'm walking now was part of the, just the event. This was hired out by the event organisers. Uh, uh, excuse my French. And um, this here should have been filled up with displayers and sellers but they didn't have enough people to come back so they've made it smaller so they haven't changed the prices they haven't offered new something else but they just made the event 15 percent smaller and still charge the same price and blah, blah everything else so that sort of annoyed me there as well and it, and it, and it does show people aren't getting paid for this thing and not getting any vouchers and no one to, no one turned up but this is a lovely build but if i was going to say for you to go out and have a look yeah, it's always worth having a look. You might, what I don't like, uh, you might like, and, and vice versa. So, it, you know, it just my honest opinion. I said my channel is going to be very as honest as, as I can. I'm not going to be blowing smoke up here because it's Lego. You know, Lego do bad sets, people do bad events, and I'm, I'm going to be honest. And I loved the displays. You can see there's some wonderful displays that the Affold community was very nice. I spoke to loads of happy people, they were sharing people. Uh, it was it a was lovely community, but you had the 20% of the sellers that was just there to gouge you put a bitter taste in my mouth that you see them up, you know this is meant to be for the celebration of Lego for kids and stuff and the amount of people I spoke to that display and sell in the shops didn't know who the organiser were didn't know anything this that and the other um, and it just seemed like they got their money and they didn't care and it, it came across that way it was very flat it wasn't you know they had a colouring section for kids which was really nice they had a, a raffle tombola thing that you win every time which was nice there's some bits and pieces but the general way it was done was not good as you can see that there's you know there's a displays next to shops you know you should be a display section because people can't see the displays when they're in the morning when it's chock a block when people are queuing for a table this is later on in the afternoon it's around about two o'clock so you can get to see the displays so there we go that's hopefully it's not too bad too dogging out of what i thought of um Brit Festival again need to sort that out I wouldn't have had um, people saying that Lego that price I would kick him out of my event the displayers are amazing they're the ones that are carrying the shows you've got amazing sellers like Ian Bricks and Kevin that are supporting the good side if it wasn't for that you'd probably be complaining all the time 
they had some other things like that going on. So overall, it's a four out of 10. If you want to work there, there we go. They are actually looking for people to work there. It was just poorly run. It wasn't flowing and it was no atmosphere. There was no staff. But anyway, my name's Snoop Love. See you next one. Oh.